you have a really long document and you'd like to number the pages, but you don't want to do it manually, you want InDesign to just do it for you. Well, it's pretty easy. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses to create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if that sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. To number pages in InDesign is really easy. The first thing you need to do is I'm going to assume you have a document open with multiple pages, hence why you need page numbering. Now you're going to have to use the master pages feature which you see up here at the top so this is my flyout menu for pages inside indesign if you don't see this on the right don't panic all you need to do is go over to window and make sure that pages is selected now once you're inside here i can see that all of the pages i have have the master page a applied to them and i can tell this one of two ways one i can see the letter a and if i hover over each of those pages a little pop-up shows up telling me which master page has been applied. So InDesign is not trying to hide the information from you. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. So we are going to go ahead and put the page number on master pages. So I'm going to double click master pages and I can see it's blank. I haven't actually put anything on this master page and I want to put that page number right here at the, actually let's just put it at the bottom. So I am going to go to the type tool and I am simply going to create a text box and I'm going to just eyeball it and put it in the center. You can definitely, you know, do some measurements and make sure it is definitely centered. And I'm going to put the word page and I am going to center that word inside that text box and I'm going to put a space and then to the right of that I am going to go to type here at the top then I am going to go to insert special character markers and current page number so very very easy nothing really complicated about this if it's just that sometimes if you're thinking like Microsoft Word ways or PowerPoint, you know, I've used those for years too in corporate America and I'm looking for insert page numbers or header or footer or things like that. And that's just not how Adobe works. Um, it just, once you start using it, you'll start getting used to the menu and get out of that corporate mind shift. But over here, it's put A. Now it's a little confusing because, you know, A is a letter and you want to make sure that there's a number there. Now I only have four pages. So I know that one through four is not going to go outside of that text box because remember, we don't want overflow with our text. So you need to make sure that your text box is large enough such that it can hold all of those pages. So again, if you have a very small width of a text box, um, let me just show you over here. Mine is pretty wide. So I could probably make this a 500 or 1000 page document or even a 10,000. And I'm not going to run out of space in my bounding box for that text box. So that's just really um, something minor, but something you'll notice once you get into a lot of page numbers. So let's go ahead and double click and see what it looks like. And we see page one and we see page two, page three and page four. So it worked and that's all you need to do to create number auto numbering inside InDesign. All right, I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys next week.